Claire and her boyfriend accused of handcuffing her children, starving them and holding them captive in a laundry room are set to be brought back to Harris County tomorrow. Zakia Duncan and Jova Terrell were found in Baton Rouge after an Amber Alert was issued in Texas. Matt Doherty in Cyprus tonight with the video of the teen twins starving and begging for help. We want to alert you. The images you're about to see are difficult to watch. Matt. Nobody could have imagined what was allegedly happening inside of this home. The kids who escaped described a life that is truly a nightmare. It's close to five o'clock on Tuesday morning. Home surveillance cameras show this pair of 16 year old twins, a boy and a girl who have just escaped. They spent more than half an hour going door to door, desperately seeking help. You need some help? Yes. Can you put some of sand, please? With What's wrong kids. with you? What? What happened? Can you please? We just need someone to be right now. No, we can't do that. Unsure of the circumstances, nearly all of the neighbors told the twins to keep moving. At about 5.30, the temperature was in the 50s. It was exactly 5.27 in the morning when I heard the doorbell ring. A single mother at home with her daughter was the first and only person to open the door. I just knew they were kids right away, so I like quickly opened the door. I told them to come in and I quickly shut the door and I locked it. The woman who asked that we not use her name or show her face says she led the twins to her kitchen. I sat them down, I brought them blankets, covered them up, and the first thing the little boy said was, we're starving. Basically, we're saying like, we're hungry, are you gonna give me something to eat? Looking at the 16 year olds, it was obvious. After getting them something to eat, she started asking questions. When a little girl was here standing, she was visibly shaking and was showing me her handcuffs. They would say, we just broke out of these. They told me that their mom kept them locked in the laundry room, naked, zip tied from the ankles and handcuffed from the wrist. They said we would pee and poop on ourselves. And they said when we needed to bathe, the mom would let them use the dirty mop water to bathe. They didn't get a bath. They got dirty water. It turned out Zakaya Duncan had been arrested for child abuse in the past in Louisiana. Court documents show her children were removed from the home back in 2012. We asked Louisiana's Department of Children and Family Services why the kids were returned. But they told us state law prevents the agency from even acknowledging an investigation. How can a mother do this to their kids? You know, how can a mother feel like this is okay to do. They deserve it. No kid deserves this. Shalom, shalom, koholayim la, abanawa, yahawa, bahashem, yahawa shai, bahashem, rakakradash. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Now, as you see, and as you see right now, you saw it, you heard it. Okay, you uh, 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 are, are, are a partaker of this evidence, man. Babylon, our people are completely cold-hearted, heartless, okay? Cold-hearted, heartless, no remorse, no compassion for the young ones, for their kids, man. Hey, look, man, this ain't no, you know, obviously this is going to be judgment, you know, for, for uh, the parents in this situation, man, you know? And obviously this was, you know, a portion of these kids' judgment from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. But this also goes back to the curses, too. As a matter of fact, let's start there, man. Okay, because everything that's done is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, it's very sad to see this, man, you know. But at the end of the day, man, it's the Lord bringing these uh, afflictions, these uh, uh, tribulations upon our people, man. Okay? Because didn't the Lord say in Hosea 4 and 6, I, I will forget thy children? So even though the Lord is going to forget our kids, he's also going to bring punishments and, you know, uh, calamities upon our children, man. Okay. So this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 50, verses 56 and 57. And it reads this. So that, so like it, the tender and delicate woman among you 
which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son. Okay, these are twins right here. It's a boy and a girl. Okay, a man and a, and a woman. Okay, be evil towards the husband of her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. Okay, so this is part of the curses, man, that our people are going through this, man. You know, and as you see, you know, at the end of the video, you see, you know, she living a comfortable life and living in a, 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 a you know, a, a, a carefree, you know, living in pleasure. But yet you treat these kids like a, a, a damn creatures, man. Verse 57. And towards her young ones that cometh out from be from between, okay? And towards her young one that cometh out from between her feet and towards her children, which she shall bear. So there's no compassion, man. And this, this, this is not, you know, godly like or righteous or correct to treat your children like this, man. To have your children in, in, in the basement, you know, chained up, zip tied up, defecating, urinating, starving, you know, going through hell because, you know, obviously, you know, you, you have some type of a mental issue, man, some type of physical disease, man, for you to sit right here and do this to you, to your off breed, man, to your offspring, man. Okay. And, you know, furthermore, this also shows you that the, that our people got massive demons on them, man. There's nothing right about this, man. But again, let me say again, everything that's done is of your how about shit how shot. So, yes, it's sad. It's hurtful. It's hard to see this. It's hard to, you know, swallow this pill. But it's the Lord doing this, man. And everything that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah do is righteous and just and balanced altogether, man. Because we don't know what these kids did in their past lives. Okay? But trust and believe, man. Just like these kids is getting chastised, punished, put through hell right now. You know, their, their, their mother. And, you know, I don't, you know, obviously they said her boyfriend. So I'm, I'm assuming, which I don't know. I'm just assuming as a man that her that their father don't know about this. Or whether their father is even alive. I don't know. I don't know the situation. Okay? But I know if, if this was me, and I and I didn't know about it. Hey, look, man. Hey, man. Look, man. Somebody had to pay for this, man. Especially the mother, man. The mother had to be put under the jail, man. Period, man. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter six, verse four. Cause this is what she's doing right here, man. This is exactly what she's doing right here. Ephesians, chapter six, verse four. And ye fathers, okay. It says ye fathers, but also this applies to you mothers too, man. Okay, and ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath. Now, you can't tell me that these children are not going to be have animosity, anger, you know, a, 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 a sour spirit towards their mother, man, for what they for what she's done, what she's done to them, man. You cannot tell me that these kids are not going to feel some type of way when they grow up towards their mother, man. You know, and like I said, I don't know the situation with the father, but they might hold their father accountable, too, you know. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition and, 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 like it, admonition of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Man, so we're supposed to be bringing up in the guidelines, instructions, and the blueprint, the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, that's that's the rightful way, man. That's the way of 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 a uh, 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 light, man. That's that's a, a balanced, righteous way, man. That's that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, for us to, you know, uh, 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 teach our children our customs, our heritage, you know. But, you know, our people have cleaved onto the ways of the heathen, which are ways that are abominable, that are filthy, that are void, that are vain. Cause you look, look, look at these Edomite kids, man. You got these Edomite kids cussing out their parents, telling their parents they want a divorce. Okay, telling their mom and dad they're going, you know, kill them. They're going to judge them, and which a lot of them do. 
Okay, and, and, and what does this eat my parents too? Oh, take a time out, a time out, little Billy. You know, you know, they, go, 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 sit in the corner. They don't chastise their kids. Why do you think their kids are so rebellious and, and buck wild, man? They monsters just like them, man. Ain't no man, look, man, no guidance, man. But let's continue, man, because you know, like, like, like the kids said, man, you know, they, they, uh. The eating situation ain't good. They they bathe in, in mop water. Okay, the, the kids literally said that when they need to take a bath, the mother gives them mop water. This wicked ass bitch, man, gives her kids use mop water. What like why the fuck did you got your kids tied down, locked up in 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 uh, uh the basement or wherever you had them locked down? I don't know if it was the basement or somewhere else, but you got your kids locked down like that. Like they fucking animals, man. Savages, man. Wild creatures from out from out the uh, uh, the forest or the jungle or something, man. And this is the fucking nigga woman, man. But yet you got you simple ass niggas, man, bowing down to these women, acting like these women are above and beyond, man. Hey, man, man, how about Shimmy how shot judge judge our people? You swiftly, quickly, uh, 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 make them suffer, man. Cause this is madness, man. This is Lamentations chapter 4, starting off at verse 3, ending at 4. Even the sea monsters, even the sea monsters, man, draw out the breasts. Even the the, the, the creatures that, that bring forth death, okay, shed blood in the seas, man. Take care of the young ones, man. Nurture them. Have care for them, man. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. Okay, you, you heard the lady, which I don't know, man. I mean, in the spirit, you know, so like not in the spirit, but as a man, I, I think that that was an Edomite that opened the, opened up the door for them, man. As a man, I say that, but I don't know because you can't really see her face or nothing like that. But you know, you you heard her say that the little girl was shaking like she had the shakes and shit, like she they, and they was walking in, in, in the street for half an hour, but damn near naked, man. And you had fucking Jakes, because you heard it. You had fucking Jakes that wouldn't even open up the door to see what was going on, man. Talking about, nah, man. May the Lord judge you motherfuckers too, man. Our people have no consideration, no compassion for our nation, man. But yet, let, I'm telling you right now, let that be Esau. Let that be Esau's kids knocking on their door. I be, oh, hold on, I'm coming right now, little Billy Bob. Fucking hypocrite ass uh, Israelites, man. Two thirds, man. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel. This shit is cruel, man. This is cruel, man. And if Esau got any, 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 anything in him, man. But you, we already know that Esau is going to take it easy on, 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 on the end dub, man. Because that's his road dog. That's his right hand man. That's his pit bull. That's his pet. Oh, she, you know, she was having a hard time. She was going through a lot, you know. She didn't have nobody in the house to help her. She was paying all the bills and, you know, the kids were stressing her out. They was getting D's and F's in school and this and that. The daughter of my people has become cruel, like the orchardses in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. And did not these kids say we're hungry? When that lady let him in, we're hungry, can you give us something to eat? So that automatically shows that she's not really feeding them kids, man. And and, and the camera showed you those kids' bodies, man. Those kids' bodies was uh, uh, jacked up, man. Okay, those, I'm sorry, those, those uh, young, uh, young, uh, 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 that young uh, man and that young woman, man. They were jacked up, man. It ain't supposed to be like that, man. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the roof of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it on to them. And that's right, man. So I'm pretty sure they in the house with mama be hungry, isn't that? I just gave y'all something to eat yesterday. I just gave y'all something to eat this morning. What you think you're supposed to eat every second of the day? That's how these bitches talk, man. But guess what? But, but you, you know, and, and obviously, man, this, this is what these women are supposed to do, man. These women are supposed to be doing this right here. Okay, Titus chapter 2, starting off at verse 3, ending at 5. The aged woman, 
likewise, that they be in behavior. This is not this is not good behavior. This is not sound righteous behavior. As becometh holiness. This is not holy. This is wicked. This is unrighteous, man. This is abominable in the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem. I was trying to treat your kids like fucking animals, man. Not false accusers. Because I'm pretty sure she accused them kids of every, every problem that she had going on in our household. It's your fault that I couldn't do this. It's your fault that, I, that this couldn't be paid. It's your fault that I couldn't go out my, with my girls. It's your fault this. It's your fault that. Not giving too much wine. You can tell in the last little clip where they showed her having fun in the car that she'd be getting a, a, a drunk off her ass and having fun. Probably doing all types of drugs and narcotics, man. Not giving too much wine. Teachers of good things. What, what is she teaching these kids? What is she, 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 she making these kids to be monsters, man. She making these kids to be villains. Brute beasts, man. That they may teach the young woman. So she, she has a daughter. And she's teaching that daughter how to be vindictive. How to hate her mother. How to hate uh, people uh, like us, man. People of her nation, man. And to cleave on to the enemy, man. To be discreet. So like it to they, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Well, she's not teaching and she's teaching her children that she hates them. So she's putting that venom on her kids, man, and especially on her daughter, too, because that applies to the woman. OK, verse five to be discreet, chase keepers at home. OK, you got your kids locked up like that. You obviously going out having a good time. Good, obedient to their own husbands. And obviously ain't no man in the house. And if you do got a, a boy from whatever the case may be, that nigga weak. Okay, because any man that, that let that let a woman do that to their kids, man, that 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 motherfucker deserve judgment too, man. Point blank period, man. Obedient to their own husbands, which she we, we see she's not doing that. That the word of the most high be not blaspheming. She don't even know the word. She knows Satan, but she don't know Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And furthermore, man, this, this is a witness against this in-dub, uh, 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 man. This is a witness against this in-dub right here. Matter of fact, let's get that scripture. Okay? This is a witness against you, man. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 4, verse 6. For children begotten of unlawful beds. Okay? Because we automatically know from uh, what's going on in, in this society and this generation that Majority, the majority of these women are not giving uh, uh, these children to the men that they had that that they, that's like, that they uh, had had uh, their virginity uh, their virginity took them from. Well, it's probably like the hundredth dude or twentieth or something like that. So that's an unlawful bed. And plus, you're not following the guidelines of the, of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. So everything you do is unlawful. For the for children begotten of unlawful beds are witnesses of wickedness. Against their parents in their trial. And like I said, man, it, it, it doesn't only apply to this mother in this situation. It applies to the mother and the father. But, you know, they didn't they didn't speak of the father. So I really can't say too much. We don't really know what's going on while the father's not in the picture. Or while the father was an interview. We don't know. But this this right here is a witness for the whole world and a witness against the parents of these children, man. Okay. For right now in their judgment and for and for that for that judgment to come, man. For children begotten of unlawful beds are witnesses of wickedness. Cause everything that she's done that, that these kids said that, that said that they were going through is wicked as hell, man. Against their parents in their trial, man. And you see it, man. You see it. Let's close out here, man. Let's close out here because the point's made. Okay. Can't make this stuff up, man. This is 1 Timothy chapter 4. It's like in 1 Timothy chapter 5. I'm going to read verses 14 to 15 and it reads this. I will therefore that the younger woman marry, okay, which we obviously see that she's not married. And honestly, it looked like she was in a car with a damn a, a, a stud, a damn a dyke, a damn a, a she, a she that want to be a he. I will therefore that the younger woman marry bear children, okay? Because sex is marriage. The first person that takes your virginity, that's your husband. And obviously she bear, ch bear children, but I'm pretty sure from the way the society goes and this, this structure and everything else, that those kids father is probably not the, the man that took their mother's virginity, man. Okay? 
pretty sure of it, man. And I say that as a man. Bear children, guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproachfully. Not women do that uh, uh, willingly, man. Our women do that willingly. And so does Jake. Okay, but you have these women uh, uh, overpassing the men, leading the men, okay, making the men uh, 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 submit to them, all types of stuff, being servants for their sakes, all types of nonsense, man. Verse 15, for some are already turned aside after Satan. Do you hear that? For some are already turned aside after Satan. Now look, man, this is a prime example of a, a Israelite woman, the end of turning aside to Satan, man, basically doing uh, uh, these Edomites work, basically saying, you know what, I, don't worry about it, uh, uh, Big Daddy E, I got it, yeah, I, I'll make sure my kids suffer, I'll make sure, you know, they, they don't prosper, they don't, they don't know nothing, they don't get educated, they don't have no life, I got it, don't worry about it, I, I, I'll take care of it, that's exactly what she's doing in this, man. Instead of instead of the enemy, Esau and these other nations doing doing what we go through to these kids, she's doing it, man. She's putting these kids through hell. She's making these kids suffer. Okay? You cannot make this up, man. Our people need to be put to death. And when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai start to get busy and start to uh, put in this work. We ain't going to shed a goddamn tear for you two-thirds, man. Because the Lord is showing us what you're doing. And the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, is making our hearts cold, man. So, man, look, man, I hope that this was edifying and uplifting. and makes you understand what the Lord is going to do to our people in these times to come, man. Because uh, believe it or not, they deserve it. We just hope and pray that we don't be a part of this judgment. We hope and pray that we be on the right-hand side, pervert, uh, so like it preserved for that first draft round pick, man, on those chariots. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.